inflammation doesn't happen by accident. There are signals which a variety of cells can release which induce inflammation. These inflammatory signals are important for asthma since asthma is essentially an inflammatory disorder. So if someone produces an excess of inflammatory signals, whether this be because of a genetic predisposition or because of environmental factors, the likelihood of asthma then increases. We also have anti-inflammatory uh, signals and uh, production of these can also then affect asthma risk. Inflammatory signals can also be controlled by a number of environmental conditions. When we are under stress, we produce more inflammatory signals. Depression produces more inflammatory signals. Diet can result in additional uh, inflammatory signals as well, given that adipose cells can secrete them, and as we gain weight and more adipose cells, more inflammation results. And also, if we eat more fatty acids coming from beef and animals, these fatty acids can be converted into inflammatory hormones. Inflammation results in a number of adverse effects, such as the attraction of white blood cells to a respiratory passageway, and also increased remodeling of the uh, bronchial walls. This remodeling can now make the walls much thicker and thus uh, enable bronchoconstriction to completely close off the airways. A number of enzymes, such as the matrix metalloproteinases, are involved in this remodeling, and different polymorphisms of a number of these genes can affect asthma risk.